let us learn the chapter topography so when it comes to topographical maps these maps are very colorful maps and different colors explain to us different type of details so when you carefully look at these topo maps the first thing that you will see is the major part of the map is covered with yellow color yellow color means it is also called yellow wash these are areas that are mainly used for agriculture so whenever we see yellow color or yellow wash that means this land is being used for cultivation now in exam the question that is asked is what is the occupation of the people in the regions of yellow or yellow wash answer is cultivation similarly there are white wash that is white color areas these are uncultivated land or these are barren lands here the main occupation is livestock rearing third one is third color that you see here is green and green refers to forest area so green refers to vegetation and when i say vegetation it is plant community in these areas so different type of forest is seen here and the main occupation in this area is going to be forestry now the next color that we are look, going to look into is blue color so when you see blue color in the map blue color refers to water bodies so you are seeing here this blue color region now this blue color region is a perennial tank or it is a perennial reservoir similarly you can see in the background gray color so here is the gray color this gray color region refers to river bed and this is a dry river bed because this river is a seasonal river only in the rainy season you will see water rest of the time it is going to be dry but because there is a dam ahead that is why a reservoir is formed and this reservoir is perennial throughout the year water is available but if you see the river carefully you will see a thin blue color line coming up and this thin blue color line refers to a perennial stream within the river so when you are asked what does this thin blue color line in the river bed refers to your answer has to be a perennial stream now here is one more water reservoir and this is also an example of a perennial water tank or a water reservoir the next color that you see in the map is red color now when you are seeing red color supposing these lines these vertical lines are called as eastings because the numbers increase in the eastern direction similarly there are horizontal lines and the horizontal lines are called as northings because the numbers increase in the northern direction so a topo map is made up of horizontal and vertical lines which are called as grid lines and they help us in locating a place and these lines can be seen in red color let us understand what else is used to show red color red color is used for showing roads so you will very commonly see roads which are red color lines in the map supposing you are seeing a double line thin double line then it is an example of metal road but on the other hand if you see are seeing a single red line then that is a cart track which is used for bullock carts you will always see plenty of metal roads as well as bullock carts in any topo map but apart from that there are pack tracks pack tracks are shown with thin red color line but in dash so they will be shown in dash and these pack tracks are tracks that are used by animals especially mules as well as donkeys for carrying load so if you see carefully in the topo map you will come across thin red color line in dashes then instead of dash sometimes there are dotted lines these dotted lines are footpath so the difference between footpath and a pack track is pack track is in dashes and footpath is in, is dotted lines so within a forest area say there can be a footpath and that footpath is shown here 
in the map. Let's have a look again. When it comes to metal road, these are the possibilities. There are three lines. One, you can see a thick red line or a double red line, things like that. Then there is unmetalled road. Unmetalled road means the road that is not being developed. The road that can be used only in the dry seasons. Rainy season, the road becomes useless because it will become marshy. So metalled road and unmetalled road. Similarly, there is pack track and footpath. Pack track are dash lines and footpath is dotted lines. The next thing that is shown is settlements. Settlements are again shown in red color. You can see here many villages. So these villages, you see settlements all together. Huts are all together. These are nucleated settlements. The word used is nucleated or sometimes the word used is clustered. So either way, it means the same. So wherever you are seeing red color formations like these, these are examples of settlements and settlements are of villages are mainly of two types one we call it as nucleated or the other word for it is clustered settlement then in some areas you will see that the huts have a spacing so that kind of settlement is called as dispersed settlement as you can see here dispersed or scattered this is the word used for it so here is an example of dispersed or scattered here you will see red dots and most of the houses are away from each other not like a village then it is an example of dispersed settlement or the word used is scattered settlement next thing that you see in the map is brown color lines which are called as contour lines so what exactly are contour lines so here you see plenty of thin brown color lines these brown color lines are an indication that this region is hilly region. Now, what are these brown color lines? As I said, these brown color lines are contours. Now, what are contours? Contours are lines joining places having same height. Now, this is shown on the topo sheet in the form of brown color lines. So, whenever we see brown color lines, it is an indication that there is a hilly area. There are numbers written on it. And these numbers are written in brown color. They are an indication of height in meters. Now, if you see carefully the numbers, the interval in the numbers is that of 20 meters. So in the exam, they ask you, what are contours? Your answer has to be, these are lines joining places having same height. What does the number on the brown color line indicate? Your answer is, it is height in meters. Then they ask you, what is the contour interval of the map? And the contour interval of the map is already written in the map at the base. And it is 20 meters. Now let us understand the four figure and six figure grid reference in the map. So when I look at the map, in exam, they give you one block and they ask you, what is the four figure grid reference of that block. So first of all, you must know these lines are eastings because they extend in the eastward direction. And these lines are northings because the numbers increase in the northern direction. These two are grid references. So with this, we understand whatever it can be a village or any place. It lies in which block. So in the exam, they give you one block. And they ask you, tell the four figure grid reference of say this village. You must remember the letter L. Okay. And once you know the letter L, how do we write L? First the vertical line and then the horizontal line. So the vertical line is pointing towards 11. So it is to be 11. And the horizontal line is pointing towards 3. So our four figure grid reference is 11, 0, 3. Let us take one more example. The four figure grid reference of this block is the vertical line is pointing towards 10 and the horizontal line is pointing towards 0, 3. So 10, 0, 3 is the answer. Similarly, let's have a look at the four figure here. The first one. So here the vertical line is pointing towards 23 and horizontal line is pointing towards 10. So our answer is 23, 10. Now, if you don't remember L and if you don't write like this, say 
if you forget there are chances in the exam you will make mistake and instead of writing 2310 you will write 1023 that is wrong second one now in this the vertical line is pointing towards 22 and the horizontal line is pointing towards 8 so our answer is 22 8 third one the vertical line is pointing towards 24 and the horizontal line is pointing towards 9 so our answer is 2409 the vertical line is pointing towards 25 the horizontal line is pointing towards 08 so our answer is 2508 The vertical line is pointing towards twenty-eight, and the horizontal line is pointing towards zero seven. So our answer is twenty-eight zero seven. Just like we have seen four figure, now let us understand six figure. So for six figure grid reference, six figure grid reference is generally asked for a dot, a point. So what you are seeing here in one of the block is a small black color dot, which is which is an indication of a tree, a survey tree, which is. which will also have a number like 227 here so we want to know where this black dot is in the block for that what we use is six figure as per the four figure we know that first of all we have to see eastings and the answer is 17 but then the block is divided into 10 parts because each block each side is 2 cm and each line is divided into 10 parts so after getting 17 we have to go one step further and see where it lies here it is 8 so you'll write 8 then the next one is for four figure as we see it is northings and it is 05 so you have to write 05 and then it is 6 so 05 and then 6 This is how we get the six figure. Let's take one more example. In this, we take uh, this two fifty four. Near this number two fifty four, there is a tree, and it is a survey tree. So let's understand, or let's try to find out the six figure grid reference. In this, the four figure is zero seven zero seven. Very easy. So first of all, I write zero seven, and after writing zero seven, I'll find out the third number. So here is the scale again. I divide the block into ten parts. and here again it is 10 parts and i see where it lies so it comes to 2 so what i write is 2 here similarly i extend the northings upward and it comes to 5 so our answer is 072075 one more example here in in the block what we see here is a temple so we'll locate where the temple is so if we see four figure the four figure for this grid is 02 and 01 so after 02 the extension of 02 will be 7 so we write 7 and northing 01 the extension of 01 will be 7 so this is our answer supposing this temple is on the line like it is on the northing line 02 okay if it is on the line what will be the six figure the six figure is once again first we'll write the four figure the four figure for it is 0202 then we extend the easting 02 so when we extend it it comes to 8 so i write 8 then northings when i extend it is on the line so i i write it as 0 so it is 028 020 now let's find the six figure of these first one If you look carefully, the four figure first of all is fifteen. Then the extension is four. Then it is fifteen six. That will be the answer. Second one, the four figure is fifteen. Then it is six. Then thirteen eight. Here it is. Here it is seventeen eight and fourteen four. So this was part 1 of topography we'll continue learning topography in part 2 thank you